Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One, and today we're taking you on a relaxing stroll and tour around Toy Story Land here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I hope you enjoy the video. And please remember to leave us a like and a comment on the video as it really does help the video out. Also, be sure that you subscribe to Resort TV One and click the notification bell to enable notifications every time we go live or have a new video. Also, be sure you're following us on social media. We are Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, let's get started. Got Buzz Lightyear over here. And here we have Slinky Dog Dash. And by the way, it's always crowded here in Toy Story Land because it's really new and it's very cool. So, maybe a little bit less of a relaxing stroll and uh, just... Uh, a tour and a stroll to enjoy. I love to uh, point out this uh, Andy's backyard fence here. This is so cool. And here comes Slinky. Comes around the curve here, right next to uh, Jesse and Rex here. Anyway, like I was saying, this is Andy's backyard fence here. So it's very accurate and it also blocks some buildings over here and I love here how it's almost like a real yard it's kind of overgrown in places uh, Hi everyone. I've got some plants I've got and uh, just grass at different heights kind of like a uh, an unkempt backyard would be and you gotta love all these Tinker Toys here almost like Tinker Toys sculptures as well as uh, the sculptures that hold up these uh, really cool uh, gigantic Christmas lights here so everything is larger than life because in this land you are a toy. You are the size of a toy. So everything is larger than life. So we've got all these uh, blocks here and uh, so the blocks are here and then we've got, I believe these are connects here that are making up the fence to keep everybody on the walkway. So just a lot of, cr lot of creativity that went into this land. Well, we've got a green army man here man manning his post behind the blocks here. <laughs> You can hear Jesse back there. And also, you've got a letter block as well as a uh, stack of checkers here. And this is the new entrance to Toy Story Midway Mania, or Toy Story Mania here. I always call it Toy Story Midway Mania, but I think it's just Toy Story Mania now. So they built a whole new entrance to it right here. And they closed the one in Pixar Place that had been there before. And again, I just love all the stacks of toys just randomly around Andy's backyard here. Now we've got Woody and Jesse over here meeting guests right by this Midway Games uh, kind of a set here. So there you go again. Got Woody and Jesse. And I love, this is almost like the box for uh, the Toy Story Mania set. So you see the uh, thing that says play set here. Woody's got his 3D glasses on. So that's a lot of fun, and then it shows the ride vehicle inside the box, so, and behind that is actually one of the new parts of the queue. And let's get another shot of Slinky Dog Dash here on this beautiful day. Here comes Slinky right now. Just love all the bright colors here. It really adds to the uh, toy and backyard uh, child's play aspect of this land. Really cool. And by the way, from this vantage point, you can see the main street here in Andy's backyard. It's great that backyards have streets, right? <laughs> I guess we can say it's a sidewalk here. And actually over here, now that there's not as much crowd, you can actually see this footprint here. It's a giant footprint, so you could see the size of an adult probably here on the street. And this land takes on a whole new character at night with these lights coming on. Everything's just being lit up so amazingly. So be sure to come during the day and at night when you get to visit this land. And by the way, we're kind of going in circles, but if you can't find the entrance to the line for Slinky Dog Dash, it is right here. <laughs> it is 100 minutes right now. It's very popular. And uh, so we recommend getting a fast pass if you can. If not, you need to get here first thing in the morning to avoid having to wait. Uh, for two hours or more. And all over this entire area, the queue here for Toy Story Mania, you see 
all kinds of toys. You've got dominoes, you've got the little Bo Peep game here. Just lots of great theming all over. Here's a box of Crayola chalk here. Larger than life. There's the Toy Story Mania box too, from the side. And I have to show here at the exit to Toy Story Mania, you can actually see a big bendy straw sticking out of the ground, which is a lot of fun. In this area, you've got uh, two new walls for people to take pictures with here. You've got the popsicle wall, which is so great that all the uh, colors are still on the popsicle sticks. And then on the other side, you've got the checkerboard wall. And actually, this is a cast uh, access area behind the buildings here, so they can open these gates and access whatever they need. But two really cool walls, checkerboard wall and popsicle wall. Here's another little block sculpture. <laughs> This is so cool the way they're all put together. This one like a pyramid here. And here as we walk out of this Midway Mania queue, you can see some domino benches. That's just so cool. And beyond that, you can actually see a balsa wood glider. I remember having one of those when I was a kid. So cool. I love how behind that is the uh, Green Army Man taking up his position here. And then just randomly a paradise down here. And here as we walk out of this Toy Story Midway Mania queue, you can see some dominoes actually set up, ready to knock down. Now, actually, it looks like we could use this uh, beach ball here, gigantic beach ball, to knock them down. Again, we're all the size of toys, so that's why dominoes and the beach balls are so big. And just beyond the uh, Toy Story Mania area and exit is this uh, Woody's Lunchbox area. I love the scaffolding here where the Green Army men have taken up position to watch over every guest to make sure everybody's safe. Or all the toys, I should say. And here is the ordering area, which actually you order literally out of a lunchbox. So behind the lunchbox is actually a book. And we've got some Baby Bell cheese down there. And then the lid of the lunchbox being held up by uh, one of those old uh, lunchbox cups. Leave a comment if you have one of those. And as we go a little further in, you can see uh, celery, carrots, even animal crackers. So cool. And here's the menu and the ordering area for the restaurant. And over here we have alphabet blocks and dominoes. So much fun sitting here in Andy's backyard. And just beyond Woody's lunchbox here, you have uh, the only air conditioned building in Toy Story Land, which is the restroom building. And it's very well themed. Got a Tinker Toy block here, and you've got uh, Scrabble pieces and blocks building up the restroom building. So lots of fun. There you see Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and this will be one of the entrances, not the main entrance, but one of the entrances to Galaxy's Edge right there. And then we have Alien Swirling Saucers. This is the entrance, there's Buzz Lightyear. This is all themed to kind of be like Star Command here. So you've got Buzz Lightyear standing guard over Star Command. And his spaceship is up there. And Star Command itself is really cool. It's like the Star Command playset. And here's the actual alien, swir alien swirling saucers ride. There are two of them. A lot of fun, the aliens are your drivers. <laughs> can hear them, they just said, ooh. area, at least part of the queue for alien swirling saucers. And actually part of this uh, queue is made of constructs. I remember having constructs when I was a kid. A lot of fun. And here's the other side. I love the music. All right, we'll walk back out towards the restrooms as well as the uh, Woody's lunchbox area.
and we'll head over towards Slinky Dog Dash. The main thing in this area is even though it's crowded, really take time to make sure that you appreciate all the details here in Andy's backyard. It's just so cool. And you can see this uh, alien here. This is a photo spot for this uh, green alien guy. He's got the claw right behind him there, which is a lot of fun. And here he is from the front. One of the green aliens here. Such an amazing ride and an amazing photo spot. You can see the Slinky Dog Dash track as we walk around here and into the actual Slinky Dog queue area. Before we get too far into the queue, there are a couple of merchandise spots, and here is one of them. It's kind of just a merchandise cart. Got all kinds of different merchandise here, all Toy Story themed, of course. So it's kind of surprising to a lot of people that they didn't actually have a real shop here. But at least they have some merchandise. They've also got a uh, snack stand here. It's like just maybe drinks. All right, so we'll continue to head on back towards the Slinky Dog Dash entrance area. Now again, keep in mind if you're doing standby, the line is way back behind me where I showed you earlier. So this is really only walking up here this far for fast pass holders. And we're actually going to check out the launch area here and you can see Slinky getting ready to launch again. There he goes up the hill. A lot of fun. And by the way, this whole wall area actually is built of blocks and Lincoln logs. I love the Lincoln logs there. It's so cool. I'll zoom in on that for you real quick. So I'm not going to be able to show you the Slinky Dog queue because I don't have a fast pass or time to wait in the line, but it is really, really cool. I'll have to show that in a different video. We have showed it on live streams a little bit, so you can check those out. They really went all out on the Slinky Dog queue here, and you can see uh, the box for Slinky Dog, and the, there's the box for the coaster itself, and it's really cool, kind of like uh, a mix and match of several different toys here. There again, you can see Andy's backyard. And by the way, the bridge we went over, I think you probably saw this, but the bridge we went over is supported by Tinker Toys. So that's pretty cool. Let's watch Slinky go from this angle. around the corner and that's the end of the ride and there we have the uh, dash and dodge coaster kit that's the box for it love how the box is for all the toys just like what you'd have you know when regular kids playing with toys and the box just kind of gets thrown aside or propped up somewhere in this case it looks like he used the box to help him uh, design the coaster itself and he did that is so Really, really cool theming here, and throughout the queue there, there's like Elmer's glue and just all kinds of stuff, even gum holding things together. There you can kind of see a um, toss-across box there, and let me see if I can zoom in on it. Plus, uh, there's a thumbtack holding up the lights, so just really cool. And here we have more Lincoln Logs. Really miss Lincoln Logs, that was a lot of fun. Hopefully we can get some of those for Liam. Let him play with them too. So cool to be able to build stuff and be creative. And by the way, I just saw a really good view of some of the mountains of Galaxy's Edge just beyond alien swirling saucers. Let me get a zoom for you there. So there you go, some of the mountains of Galaxy's Edge right there just beyond alien swirling saucers. So as we walk out of the Slinky Dog Dash area, you can get a great view of the main intersection here at Toy Story Land and by the way the uh, souvenir stand here is like a uh, family camper like a toy family camper I just noticed that so cool and it's got those uh, famous slinky dog ears there so if you want some slinky dog ears that's where you can get them so 
We'll walk by Slinky Dog Dash from the outside again. On this beautiful day. And again, it's always crowded here, so just be prepared for the crowds unless you get here super early or you're staying super late. And in this case, now in this time of year, it's only open until eight o'clock, so you can't really stay super late. But nice thing about Disney this time of year in October is that uh, you get these beautiful days, clear skies. I'll head over here by this really great view of uh, the main uh, circle area here for Slinky Dog Dash. Got to kind of work our way through the crowd here. You can see Andy's backyard fence there. So cool. Here comes Slinky again. Well, that's all for now for this tour and stroll around Toy Story Land here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to leave us a like and a comment as well as subscribe if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to follow us on social media with Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, be sure to check out our sponsors, MickeyBlog.com and MickeyTravels.com for the best in free Disney vacation planning advice. Also, make sure you check out windowrepairparts.us and use the coupon code RESORTTV1 for 20% off your purchase on windowrepairparts.us. Also, make sure you check out MainStreetDVCResale.com. See how easy it is to sell your DVC commission-free at MainStreetDVCResale.com. So for now, have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye